What's up guys, Davey here from phonebuff.com and in this video I'm going to show you what's on my Android phone. So in this case it's the Samsung Galaxy S3 from T-Mobile. First thing you'll probably notice on my home screen is the live wallpaper I have running. It's an app called NFL Live Wallpapers that I purchased about two years ago. Um, developer actually made a newer version now but this one works for me so I'm just going to keep using it. Uh, as you can see, you can pick from any one of the 32 NFL teams. I currently have the Redskins select because that's my favorite team. You can choose the flag style, camera speed, wind speed. So you can customize a few of the things over here. And uh, something you could also do is you can make it so it actually rotates when you switch from home screen to home screen. So you get a 3D look at the helmet, which really makes it cool. But I don't have that enabled right now. Uh, next widget you'll notice is this little clock slash weather widget, which is called HD widgets. I did a review on the channel on this, so I'm not going to go too far into it, but basically I like it because it's clean. Um, you could customize how the clock looks, how the background looks, even where this little weather icon shows up. And when you tap on it, you get a five day forecast, you keep track of multiple cities, etc. So definitely like it. And then the last widget on my home screen is this little post-it style widget, which is actually color notes. So you don't actually have to use it as a widget. It's an actual app itself too, but I use it as a widget as well. So that way, you know, I can keep track of what I need to do. And when you tap on it, you can actually check them off. So it's a great way to stay productive. Um, let's go ahead and look at the apps now though. I'll go ahead and look at them from alphabetical order. So first one is Amazon. Basically, I mean, you guys probably know how this one works. I buy everything on Amazon uh, that I can. I get free shipping with the Amazon Prime thing, but nonetheless, that's what I like. Um, this app right here is called Google Analytics and it's really for people who have websites if you want to keep track of you know your visitors and how they got to you and whatnot that's how I keep track of phone buff next app is Avist mobile I don't really recommend antivirus on Android because I don't think you need it this one's free so I don't mind it but the main reason I use it is because if you lose it you can keep track of it like located online I'm not gonna go into the stock apps obviously because that's what comes on the Galaxy S3 with TouchWiz normally so We'll skip right over to Google Chrome. It's what I use instead of the stock browser because you know I just find it to be faster and I like the interface. We went, already went over color notes, dictionary right here, basically you know to define words. But now with the the better voice actions or you know voice search, I actually a lot of times just find myself tapping this guy and saying you know what does this mean and I get the definition right there. Especially when I get the Jelly Bean update on here, I'm definitely probably not going to be using this. Google Earth is another app I have. Facebook of course. Uh, this little app right here, the flashlight, is something I really like. I even have it on my lock screen, so when I lock my phone and unlock it, I have these four icons here that I could, you know, open up and it opens straight to them, like messaging, phone, camera, etc. I really like having flashlight here because when I open it, boom, it opens up my flashlight, and that way I could actually, um, you know, see where the keyhole is. So at night, when I'm trying to get into my house or my car, I don't have to worry about that. But it's called uh, that one's called. HD flashlight. So if you guys want that from the Google Play Store, it's actually free as well. Have Flipboard and Flickster. Um, this app right here is called Future SMS. I actually like this a lot because you know if you're trying to send someone a text message, but you don't want to send it right now. For example, if you want to send it somewhere off into the future, you could do that. For example, I use it a lot for people's birthday. So like if their birthday, you know, is tomorrow for tonight at midnight, I would set a text saying happy birthday. That way it automatically sends it so you don't miss people's birthdays and things like that. Pretty cool little app that you know does the work for you. Uh, let's see what else. Google Plus. Don't really need to go into that. This app right here at the top left is Gym Rat. It's what I use when I go to the gym. I did a review on this on Phone Buff as well. So I'm not going to go too far into it. But basically you can set up routines and then you can go through them. Like for example you just hit this little play and uh, you know you can go from exercise to exercise and it kind of walks you through them. And if you want to see a description of the exercise and how to do it, it actually shows you little pictures and whatnot. So that's definitely a cool app that I like a lot and actually use that a lot. Um, Hotel Tonight is an app that I have. You know, I don't really, you know, have it on my phone all the time. I download it once in a while when I need it. But nonetheless, I'll go ahead and show you guys what it is. Basically, if you're like in an area, for example, I go in, when I go to Vegas, I install it. So if I want to stay an extra night, it'll find hotels that haven't yet been sold. So the hotels will actually sell those rooms at a lower rate than normal and you know if you're booking in that night you just need a uh, night to crash somewhere uh, it's a cool little app that you get like really discounted prices like I've gotten hotels in Vegas for like five bucks or something like that so crazy um, this app right here Lightflow Light basically it allows you to customize your notifications so for example if I go into here I can actually change the notification colors for all my notifications so for my Gmail accounts for my missed calls for my Gtalk for my low battery, etc., for when it's charging. So I'll go ahead and show you, like, for example, if I want to have a notification when Bluetooth is on, I could enable it. I could choose, you know, what color I want and all that good stuff. So 
that's definitely an app I would recommend checking out. Um, let's see what else. My Xbox Live. Basically, I just use this to keep track of um, you know who's online on Xbox Live. I don't really use it all that much, but you know I like having it on here because I can send messages to people and receive their messages and whatnot and see what new games are out. So anyway, that is that. You guys can see that. You know, I can see what games I'm playing. Madden 13 is pretty much the game I play all the time now. Um, let's go on. So we already went over NFL teams, uh, you know, playbooks, play music, all the play apps I have on here. So Real Calc. This is the app I use instead of the stock calculator because I don't know about you guys, but it reminds me of the calculator I used to use in algebra when I was in high school. Um, scientific calculator works really, really well and it's free and it takes up, you know, the full screen if you want it to. So definitely something I recommend. You know, I can disable the uh, regular calculator app, but I hit it. I'll show you guys that later. Um, S Voice, S Memo, so the typical you know S apps that come on the Galaxy S3. These are obviously not going to be available to you if you don't have TouchWiz. Um, ESPN Score Center. So on my what's on my tablet video, I actually use Fox Sports, but on this guy, I use ESPN Score Center because it seems like it's you know more made for phones and it's a good way to keep track of all the scores for all your favorite sports. So. That is that, and that's free as well. Settings icon, don't need to talk about that. So Solid Explorer, I used to use uh, ES File Explorer when I did my What's on My Tablet uh, video. A lot of you guys were recommending Solid Explorer, so I actually checked it out, and I do like it. It looks really clean, um, and I like the way you could actually uh, copy files over from one uh, place to another. For example, I think if I turn it into, uh, if I rotate it over, it'll do it. Let's see. Actually, I tried on my tablet. Yeah, so I could go from... You know, for example, if I want to copy a file from here, so you can see it's internal memory, internal memory. I could go into, for example, here and then copy files back and forth. It's a really cool way to, you know, be able to explore your files. Uh, definitely recommend it. That's free as well. Speed test is an app that I use, you know, basically anywhere I go. I like to see, you know, what my internet speeds are. So I'm on T-Mobile, as you guys can tell. This one right here is Wi-Fi. Um, but you can see my speeds, like, I don't know where I was here. I got 15 megabytes down per second, three megabytes up, which is pretty good. You know, T-Mobile's 4G network. <laughs> and uh, over here, you can see I got some other speeds, but it's a good way to check out, like, you know, if, if you're trying to load a website or YouTube, whatever, if you want to be able to tell, is it your internet that's slow? Is it the phone that's slow? Or is it the server that's slow? It's a good way to kind of figure out, you know, why is your, why is it basically not loading at the speed you want? Um, what else? Square, I did a review on that channel as well. Basically, this allows you to take credit card payments at a percentage fee of like 2.75%. When you sign up, you actually get a free little reader. You plug it into the headphone jack of your phone, um, and you can actually physically swipe the card, and they can sign on the screen itself. Really cool. I don't really use it all that much, but it's one of those apps that are like really cool that you want to have on there just to kind of show off. But I have used it in the past. You know, if someone's like, oh, you know, I don't have cash like for like splitting a bill or not a bill, but like if they, I don't know, we do something and they need to give me cash and they don't have cash, I just take credit cards. So that's pretty cool. Um, Twonky server right here is what I've used. So Wi-Fi is off right now, it doesn't let me go into it. But it's what I use to share uh, files from my phone to my Xbox. So for example, I, if I have music on my phone, I could you know turn on this little server and then from my Xbox 360, connect to it and then play the music on my phone right from my TV You know without having to actually transfer any files. AT&T Uverse is what I use to control my TV. So this is actually what I use as far as um, my TV guide and also to manage my recordings on my DVR. And uh, let's see, we're almost done here. XDA, um, this is something I use to check out the threads on XDA developers. This is the free version. Um, it's okay, I mean, I, I like going on the regular website itself. I find navigating a little bit easier, but sometimes when I share or when I uh, favorite a certain thread, it's a good way to keep track of it with that app. Um, I skipped over WordPress. So this is the app that I actually use to manage phone buff. Um, you know, if I get a comment, I can read your comments here. I can see the stats. I could, you know, change or edit some of the articles if I found like a grammatical mistake or whatever. Um, that's pretty cool. And then the last app, you know, that is in stock is Zedge. This is what I use to get like my ringtones and whatnot. So my ringtones for my phone itself or my text message notifications. So for example, when I had uh, Cyanogen Mod 10 installed on here, so now I'm on stock, by the way, if you guys haven't you know, realize that by now. I'm on the stock run, but when I had San Engine Mod 10, I liked the ringtone a lot, which was, uh, you know, their custom ringtone, and I was able to actually find it on here, and I still use it as my ringtone. So, that's the ringtone, I don't know, I like it, it kind of sounds like, like dubstep or something, but anyway, that is what's on my phone. I try to go through that as fast as I could, because you know, these videos tend to get kind of long, I mean, it's already 10 minutes now. 
All right, so that's pretty much it for what's on my Android phone. Um, if you want more app ideas, check out How To Men's video. They actually did a what's on my Android phone video as well. And uh, they actually had a rooted phone, so they have a lot of different apps that I didn't have over here. Definitely worth checking out. I made a link in the description box below. Um, they do a lot of tutorials and reviews just like I do, so definitely a channel worth checking out. But anyway, that's pretty much it for me in this video. If you found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All right, thank you.